Good day, folks. Thank you for joining us here at FamilyNet. Say, have you had your fruit for the day? Have you ever tried a fruit smoothie? They are delicious. Cindy joins us in the kitchen today. She has some great recipes to help you get on track with your fruit servings. Let's go to the news first, and let's see what's happening out there. Freshman blues can depress the immune system. A new study from Carnegie Mellon University suggests the stresses and loneliness of the first year of college can take a toll on a student's health. Studying 83 students, researchers gave all participants the flu shot and asked them to record their feelings of loneliness, stress, and mood four times a day. The researchers then charted the participants' immune response to the immunization while correlating it with their emotional state of mind. The study found a weak social network had a direct effect on the immune response to the flu shot, with the negative effect lasting as long as four months. You know, college life can be a very stressful change for a young person's life. And many of you are sending your children or grandchildren off to college for the first time this coming fall. Now, you've raised them, right? So they're prepared in this respect. But are they ready for the stresses of college life? Well, send them off with a good bottle of vitamins and stay in touch. The researchers report the college students with a sense of loneliness suffered the greatest immune suppression. Amazing. Let's go to the next one. Omega-3s may protect baby girls in womb. Omega-3 fatty acids found in fish oil, flaxseed, walnuts, and green leafy vegetables may protect a woman from breast cancer before she is even born, reports the Louisiana State University mouse study. The study found 60% of female mice offspring nourished with omega-3s either before or after birth formed mammary tumors. However, those getting omega-3s before and after birth had a tumor incident rate of just 13%. This study adds to a growing body of research showing nutrition in the womb can affect a person's health as an adult a half century or more later. These omega-3s are simply amazing, folks. If you're not taking any, please start and eat walnuts, fish, and green leafy vegetables at every opportunity. In review on this study, mice given omega-3s before and after their birth had an 80% reduction in breast tumors. Amazing. Now here's a report that'll make you think twice about drinking that evening soda pop. Look at this. Soda before bedtime raises reflux risk. The nearly one in two American adults plagued by heartburn may want to steer clear of carbonated beverages before bedtime. The University of Arizona recently reviewed the ongoing sleep heart health study involving 15,000 adults. Researchers found 24.9% of the participants complained of heartburn during nighttime slumber. Findings show individuals who drank one or more carbonated beverages per day had a 31% higher risk of developing heartburn at night. Furthermore, those who use benzodiazepam sedatives such as Ativan, Halcyon, Valium, or Xanax for sleep had a 65% increased risk of heartburn after bedtime. The report went on to say that this is the first study to show the association between nighttime soda drinking and heartburn. The report also stated nighttime reflux is perhaps the worst type because with it comes an increased risk of esophageal cancer. With so many Americans drinking soda, on average 70 gallons per year per American, no wonder we pop antacids like candy. My advice, stop the sodas, take a fiber supplement, start a probiotic, and that will work wonders on that heartburn. Let's go to our next one. Low-fat dairy foods may lower diabetes risk in men. Men eating low-fat dairy foods may cut their chances of developing type 2 diabetes, finds the health professional follow-up study of 41,254 men over 12 years. Researchers found those with the highest intake of dairy were 23% less likely to develop diabetes. Furthermore, for each serving per day increase in low-fat dairy foods, the risk of diabetes dropped 12%. The report went on to say that all dairy, low-fat or regular, reduced the risk of diabetes, but low-fat dairy was the most effective in lowering the rates of diabetes. Perhaps the best way to get your dairy is by eating yogurt. The benefit of yogurt also includes probiotics. Now, I don't want you to, to I, I do want to add that many of you are intolerant of dairy products, and I don't want you to think you're doomed to develop diabetes just because you don't eat dairy. That's not so. Eat your fruits, your vegetables, stay fit, get your exercise, and the vast majority of you will be just fine. Well, today, as promised on your health, Cindy joins us in the kitchen. She's got a great smoothie recipe. You know, smoothies are a great way to get your fruit. Plus, it's a great cool treat for those long, hot summer days. Join us today on Your Health.